give us the construct of how you will deconstruct the racism that was built into the roadways that you talked to the Rio earlier when you broke that information with us. Can you talk to us about how that could be deconstructed? For sure, yeah. So you know, the principle of Justice 40 is that at least 40% of the clean investments in this bill will go to benefit the communities that are overburdened, overburdened and, and underserved. So part one of that is defining those those investments that are eligible, and that's a lot of it, and we're working to map out kind of program by program, mode by mode, uh, what would qualify. For example, if we're uh, buying clean buses, right, how do we make sure in terms of where those buses go, but also looking at the business opportunity, the jobs that are going to be created, the businesses that, that uh, will have a chance to compete uh, for, for the business opportunities it creates. That, too, I think is a very important element of equity here that's in the spirit of Justice 40. And again, we have a lot of guidance and oversight from the White House since that's an administration-wide initiative. But we know that we've got to build our own internal uh, kind of ways of, of uh, aligning and defining that inside the administration. As to where we target those those dollars, you know, I, I'm still surprised that some people were surprised when I pointed to the fact that uh, if a highway was built for the purpose of di dividing a white and a black neighborhood, or if an underpass was constructed such that a bus carrying mostly black and Puerto Rican kids uh, to a beach, or that would have been, uh, in New York was, was designed uh, too low for it to pass by, that that obviously reflects racism that went into those design choices. This is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.